Hey, what's going on guys? It's G-Rad here, and today I would like to talk to you about another Sibiac add-on called Zampler. Now, Zampler is a free VST plugin that reads SFZ and REX files. Now, it's a virtual studio instrument and greatly resembles like a synthesizer to me. And um, you can load a bank of a bunch of different patches, or you can load individual patches. And there are a ton of free and commercially made available patches that you can purchase or download all over the web. And Zampler being able to play these patches makes this a very powerful tool in its own right. And there are quite a few additional features that have been implemented as well with Sibiac. And the other neat thing about this is that a lot of, if not all, of the parameters are also labeled in the Reaper's Effects Parameters dialog. So that's pretty cool to know. And I'm not going to go into detail about everything, otherwise I could be here for a while. And even I have to admit there are still quite a few things that I'm trying to figure out about it as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over some of the basic stuff and give you guys an idea of what you can do with this really, really powerful tool. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up my effects chain or effects window and load Zampler into my effects. At FX2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in Zampler, and that is spelled with a Z instead of an S. Select. And list one list. VSTI. Zampler. Synapse Audio. FX. Now, it's worth noting that Zampler has no installation file. All you have to simply do is download it, extract it, and then just simply drop the DLL into your VST plugins folder, and it's ready to go. That's simple. It really is. Uh, now, there is something that you can install, and I went ahead and ran it just to be on the safe side, but I haven't really noticed any difference here. So just running it, I just simply did the VST drop, and you're fine. Now, I'm going to do is I'm going to tap down Edit to where it says the checkbox is. Button. Zero plus button, from button, two out button, UI button, enable checkbox check. Now, somebody, a lot of people have actually asked, how can we tell if Sibiac is loaded? And this is one of the easiest ways to tell that Sibiac is actually working in your setup, is because when it gets to the checkbox, normally it would just simply say checkbox. However, it now says enabled next to the checkbox, and that's a really good indication of letting you know that Sibiac is loaded. Also, you can go into your preferences, and you can also go into your item properties and any item on your project in Reaper, and it will actually announce the fade shapes, which does not happen unless Sibiac is loaded. So those are actually a really couple of nice, smart fail saves that were implemented to let you guys, the users, know that Sibiac is working properly. So now that I'm at the checkbox, I'm just going to tab again, and it's going to take me straight into the Zampler's Zampler. interface. Control, page main. Now, Zampler itself is divided into three pages. You have your main page, arpeggiator. your arpeggiator page, mod matrix. and your mod matrix page. Now, I'm not going to really go into detail on the mod matrix and the arpeggiator page, because I don't really know a whole lot about them, to be honest with you. But the main page covers a lot of ground in its own right, and it has quite a few nice functions. So let's go back main. to the main page. And now that is being done by navigating with the arrows. Now your primary functions are going to be your tab and control tab, or excuse me, shift tab, and your arrow keys and your inner key. So as I tab down, you're going to see that it's going to take me through all the functions that are available using Sibiac. Otherwise, this program is pretty much inaccessible. So choose patch 001. So this is where your patch selection is. Now you can actually hit enter on it and it'll load up it'll bring up a context menu of a bunch of patches. However, we don't have anything loaded. So they're all just going to say init patch. So if you want to load it, just tab again. Load bank. There's your entire bank loading button and you have a save bank. Save bank right next to it. So you can make your own custom banks and save them and you can basically make a favorites library where you can simply load in and save and that way you can put all your own patches into one simple file load patch and there's your individual loading and saving of your patch save files patch. and then i'm going to tap again sfc slash rex empty okay now this is where it'll tell you what sfz or rex file is loaded and as you heard it was empty polyphony 12 and this is where your polyphonic notes how many notes you can play at a time and it's by default set to 12 bend up to 
Now, your bend up and coming up is your bend down. Bend down too. This is the amount of bend you can apply using your pitch bend wheel on your keyboard if you have one. Now, I do have a pitch bend wheel, and I'll give you an example of that. And here is your filter. Juice patch off. Here is your filter patch, and you have a combination of off, low pass, band pass, band stop, and high pass. So I am now going to go back and load a bank. Tab control, choose patch zero zero one, load bank. So when I go to the load bank, I'm going to hit enter. Load bank. Now, it doesn't initially announce the dialog. Files or at least not right now, it doesn't. File name. But what I am going to do is mention now that we have the bank loaded that this can be a little tricky to navigate. So as a personal suggestion for you guys who have a little bit of a difficult time browsing folders, whenever you download a patch, it's going to come with a folder with all the patches in it. And then it's going to have an actual FXB file, which is your actual bank with all the patches in it. Now, you can put all the FXB files in a root directory with their subfolders in it, with it as well, so they can all be loadable from one simple directory. I personally have it divided, and that's because I can browse this thing pretty well, because I usually end up typing in a manual directory into the uh, file name to go straight to the root directory whenever I want to make changes. Um, I'll give you an example of that right now because mine is actually going to be in the Zampler library's root directory on my C drive. So I'm going to type C colon backslash and then just type in Z A M and then down Z arrow. Zampler libraries. Now I hit enter on that and now I'm just going to shift tab. Folder view list. Assault. Date modified. Il and that's whenever that's you just shift tab twice and it's going to take you to where you can find. Beat Waldorf drums. Black Venom, and then date modified. You can 11 use the arrow keys to switch through them. Black Mamba expansion. Black Mamba Anaconda expansion. BRRZZL. Commodore 64 synthesis. Demo digital base. Glamour. Date noise factory. Zampler demo library. Now, all those that I just displayed are completely free to download. So keep that in mind that there are a lot of free patches out there. In fact, the Assault patch is a 2.5 gigabyte download that is free by Beats. Noise fact. So I'm gonna use that one. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna use. Beat Waldorf assault. Date modified. Eleven slash six slash two thousand. So I'm gonna go into the folder. Folder view list. Zampler assault. Date modified. And see, so there's the actual folder. Zampler assault. Fxb. And there's the fxb file. Now, when you load the fxb FX, file, one Zampler dialog. It's gonna take you back to the Zampler interface. And now, when I shift tab back up to the Juice list. Zero zero one eighty eight agro botanic. You will now notice that the list has stuff in it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something else and I can hit enter on the actual context list menu. and it brings up the context menu where you can actually type nothing, honestly. I wish you could do a um, filter because it would make it a lot easier, but you don't have that option at the moment. 001, BS Agro Botanic Check 0. 002, BS Agro Charge 0. 003, BS Another World 0. 004, BS Arc Me 0. 005, BS but zero. you can also use a 1 and go straight to 100. 100. SY Polynomials 1. 099. SY Mood Maker 0. 086. PD Retro Tape 0. 073. LD Ultra Clean 0. Alright, let's get FX. Here. Track 1 Zampler. So I selected that. All right, cool. Now let me show you some of these. Um, load bank. Save bank. See, now I can actually, instead of loading a whole entire load patch bank, I can actually load individual patches out of the bank, but I did not do that. So, save patch. SFZ slash Rex LD Ultra Clean. So, here is where the patch is actually listed. Load SFZ dialog file name. And if file I name. click on it, Pro it'll give me the same results FX. as loading it. Unsave project. And we can go back FX. into it. UI button. Zampler. Choose patch. Bend down to. Polyphony 12. SFZ. Save patch. Load patch. Now when I load a patch. Load patch. FX. Track 1. Um, you can load a different patch file or you can save patch files or you can load direct SFZ or REX files by save going patch. here. SFZ slash Rex LD Ultra Clean. So 
what I'm going to do now is I am going to show you bend up two. the bending. So now whenever I have, see it says it's two is their bend. So I'm going to play a C. And that is me using my bend wheel. And what it does is it bends it up to a full tone because for each number that is announced, it's a semitone. So there's a D non-bent, C bent all the way up, and then here is a B flat non-bent, and a B flat or a C bent with a down. Okay, so now I'm going to change the bend up, say to 12. 17. 23. 24. So let's go to 24 instead. Now when I play the C. So, and the same applies for the pitch bend down. Bend down to 2. 18. 24. Here's that same C note. So keep that in mind if you want to mess with that. Now let's have some fun with Choose the patch, Lopez. Uh, patch filter. Off. Now that's off. Now this one may not use the high pass and low pass and all that stuff. Lopez. So you can see it doesn't sh have any effect on the low pass. Band pass. Band pass pretty much has nothing on it. Band stop. Band stop. Pretty much nothing. High pass. High pass is the same. High pass. So let's change to a different Bend patch. Down 20. Bend up. Polyphony. SFZ slot. Save pa Load patch. Save pa Load patch. Choose patch 073. 072. LD tunnel. 072. LD tunnel force. 052. LD downgrade. Let's go to something a little bit more bass heavy so that way I can show you. 037. 88 one bomb. Okay, that'll work. Now let's go back to the tab. Choose patch low. Bend down twenty four. Choose tab control page main. Choose patch low. All right. As you can see, my pitch bend still is in effect. Now I'm mean, gonna. I am where. Off. Now whenever I down arrow to off. Now whenever I Lopez. You can tell there's a little bit of a difference there. Lopez. Now let's Band pass. Actually, I'm going to change to a different bank Tap for this suit. Load bank. That one's not a good choose enough Choose patch bank. 037. Arpeggiator. Mod matrix. Main. I did not know. Choose patch 030. 88. 026. 88 new edge. 025. 88 noisy saw. Okay. Look. Look. Bend up 24. Bend. Choose patch Lopez. Okay. Here's a. Let's see if this works. Off. Much better. Okay, <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little carried away here, sorry. So, now that I have the band pass set to off, you can hear the note in its entirety. So when I go to low pass, Lopez. it kind of does a curve into a low pass. And band pass. Band pass. It kind of goes from a high to a low. Band stop. Band stop. You can hear how it kind of does a little bit of a curve wave. I'll show you off. Band stop. It's a little bit of a mod. Now here's high pass. High pass. So, yeah, you get the concept of how that works. Now, 
that is basically to get your foot in the door on how to use this. And you can go into the Unsafe. effects parameters and make a bunch of changes FX to stuff in dialogue. here. Parameter, combo box, OSC1 shape, OSC1 cores, OSC1 fine, th OSC1 fat, 4. Now, I don't really know all about how this all has been working because I haven't really messed with it very long, but I wanted to give this demonstration video out there so you guys who are curious about how this all works and what this can do, just to literally show you a marginal scratching of the surface of this program and just how powerful it can really be. But I do hope you guys enjoy this video, you know, tutorial demonstration. And if you guys have any further questions, I'd be happy to answer them. And until then, I will see you in the next video. This is GRAD signing out saying thank you for watching and have a good day.